Good morning, fellow Dragon Free lovers. This is Paul, and today we're going to do a taste test on Maki Supa. It's three quarters of a pound, 350 grams. You can see it's got a really beautiful colored skin, and I would describe it as kind of reddish pink. It's nice and round, too. It's Hylocerus andatus crossed with Hylocerus polyrhizus, and it's magenta fleshed fruit. You can see here the flower bud is really beautiful, kind of has a reddish tint, and the flower itself is gorgeous as well. Now they are really fragrant, however they didn't fully open, both of them didn't fully open, so I thought maybe it was a weather pattern, I'm not sure. And here's the oldest source that I could find online. I got mine from Spicy Exotics, but Matt's Landscape was selling it before and calling it a reliable producer and tolerant of the sun. Now, he also said it's self-fertile, but most people say it's self-sterile. So I cross-pollinated it to set fruit, and let's see how it tastes. So you can see it right here, really beautiful color, nice and round, and it looks really ripe. Now, I tasted one yesterday, and I really enjoyed it actually compared it to some other varieties and I prefer this one. Really delicious. Kind of a berry, kiwi, melon kind of vibe. Seeds are really crunchy, but not earthy. I really like this fruit. Well, let's give it a score and check the me or I shouldn't say give it a score. Let's measure its sugar content. I guess it's about a 16. Maybe a 17. Actually, there's plenty of juice in this one. It is rather juicy, and the texture is really pleasant. I like this fruit, again. It's not acidic. I would probably take a American Beauty over this. Or G series, a Guatemalensis, 16 and 2 tenths. Very respectable. And I generally like to eat anything above maybe a 14 or a 15. Anything under 15 is kind of not very enjoyable, in my opinion. Mmm. I really like th this fruit. The color, the flavor. In terms of dragon fruit, I'd call this kind of mild. It's not bland, but it's just, it's more on the mild side. You know when you get different melons and sometimes a melon's very flavorful, other times it's a bit more on the bland side. It's like a really toned down red variety. So there you go, Maki Supa. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. It's a good fruit but there are definitely better fruit than this out there. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.